particular game, and it should be good. Let Chrysalis farm, have our mill, be able to control the tempo of the game. Then you're setting yourself up for success here if you are Team Secret. Yeah. Like game one in particular, I feel like uh, Quinn was playing a stellar game, just not enough for a win. And Armel, he was playing really good in that game too. I feel like that was one of his one of his better Kunkka performances in a sense of. And he wants to go. Tofu. Yeah, gonna kill him towards the mid. Armel will be the one to drop first. So big move coming here from Tofu, getting the first blood to be bullying the Beastmaster, but he's not even winning his lane. Part of it has to do with that Techies is such a strong laner, but Tofu. Gonna have to uh, open <clears throat> battle it out a bit. Ace, he's trying to get enough reach from the Ring of Hell, but Crystalus, can he get this kill? Yes, he can. Even with the blast oh, off, the stun coming in, that right click was already sent. In that late game of the last game, the Void Spirit, he picked up a DD rune as a universal hero with items. Yeah. As they might kill Tofu here. He does get the blast oh, off on the RP. RP. The Rachio and power damage should be enough with the shockwave. Takes down one as skewers himself <laughs> off the cliff. But, oh well, you know, style points can be given. Quinn's going to be closing out the kill and boom. And with that haste rune, again, these action runes just being a real, real pest here because it's Quinn just running them down one by one. Puppy being the next one, maybe he when dies die as here? well. Oh, the tower's going to finish him off. So our mill coming in for the rescue. I would say game number one as well, like, Gaming Gliders, sure, they lost that game, but they were really ahead of it for a super long time, and there's no way that was your ideal early game. You've got the Rancho As... coming in to help out, but this Phoenix is already down, and the egg destroyed. Rancho should know about it now. But they're so close to getting the Mortimer's oh, Kisses here. With the camp, too, so maybe he can get a spin or two off here. RP comes out, Aracha with a turn around. Meanwhile, Yamich getting killed off by Tofu, and Boom's gonna die to either the mine or the right clicks off of Magnus, so he'll choose the latter. You do have a 2k net worth advantage for gaming gladiators, but a lot of that's backed off the fact that you have Empower. Ace could roar, he got it. Mortimer's Kiss is also in. This is gonna be a very tricky kill. Maybe it is enough, even without the Diffusal Blade. Yes, it is. So, uh, he hit Mel, every single it. Mortimer Kiss there. Every player on the map and get those extra kills that you otherwise would not have been able to get. Puppy in mid, and Puppy's just uh, looking like he's going to be the lead, and yes, he is. And here comes Crystalis and Yamich. Can he get a root out? That's what they need, but the taunt from the Remnant keeps Crystalis at bay. Call coming out as well onto Celery. He's got the egg available, and an Icarus dive. They're going for the RP to finish off the Snapfire. Not really wasting too much time. Are we going to look for a big RP or not? Just go straight for the Snap. Yeah, that's going to open up a tower. Armel is here, though. That fresh Diffusal Blade you just mentioned. Call from Boom. It's a beautiful one. A lot of damage. Crystal's coming here. The blast off as well from the Techies. Tofu trying to turn it around with a bomb with the mines. Doing a lot of damage. And they will finish off the Rachio, but they lose the Troll. They lose the Pugna. And Celery getting all of these kills. Maybe even an Ultra. Nah, Quinn wants some for himself, too. Still going to get hit by the cookie stun from Yamich, but a massive trade-off. Gaming Gladiators like that last game, having to play from behind. They were not really, really feeling it. Quinn finding Puppy once again. He's been found multiple times this game, but not enough for a kill secret coming in with force. Quinn has no steps. Astral's co Sorry, the Mortimer's coming in and doing some damage with the call, and now they finally finish him off. Important. to get a kill. Some small pickoffs. Yeah, and how can they oh, do no. that? Boom. Does it start off with supports? Might just start off with Tofu, but there's also a lot of damage coming out from Quinn, jumping in the middle of all of them. And look at that. It's just Tofu, Quinn, both the two man show. And they just lost a whole lot of members on Secret. Oh, poor you. It's going to be a team wipe as Game and Gladiators, just like that. It's a Tofu Quinn ah, show. It Four staff. Heaven's Halberds, Yule Scepters, since as a troll, you have a very small window of when you can fight. If they can manage to stick together with the shield rune and the power. There we go once again, like this guy, <laughs> he has zero respect the puppy. Who is this guy? Oh, just hunts him down right behind the tier three tower. Secret can't even react to it. And they don't even have the damage to burn through that shield rune. Another tier three in peril. He's got a multiple shields, he's got the Aegis too. Can't get close enough for extra damage. He does have the Aghanims on RML, so he does dish out a decent amount of damage, but still a lot of mana to burn through these two. And very, very hard to position yourselves 
as where they are right now. Disarmor, both of them. Pango getting caught by the Remnant, but no blink on the Magnus. Here comes the call, and an RP is ready if they can unleash it, but he's getting stunlocked. Arazio ain't going anywhere, and he gets the skewer out because the Rolling Thunder goes elsewhere. Chrysalis, he's already down, though, has to come back for the buyback. Boom's down, Puppy's down, and Armel will find a kill on Tofu, but is that the only thing they're going to be walking out with? AC's going to get rooted up by the troll. They're trying to isolate him from the fight. Armel down, Quinn very low on HP, but he still has an eight. This RP comes out as well, and the troll ulti just in the nick of time. Time, but Duraccio will drop and Crystalis, he looks like he might be dead. Puppy healing him up, but it's not going to be enough. Quinn jumping right on top of him as well, and the Pugna on the run. But he's chased by Ace and Quinn into yet another kill for Gaming Do Gladiators. Do you call it now or what? Because this seems pretty difficult. Yeah, they're just going to call it. It is a rough game three 